Stop overcomplicating lead generation. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the only two ways to generate leads online. Hey, what's up, it's Sean Anthony, and if you're an entrepreneur looking to level up your business, your skills, and your income, go below right now, hit that subscribe button. I'm posting videos just like this every Tuesday and every Thursday. So in this video, I wanna talk about the only two ways to generate leads online. And most people, most business owners, entrepreneurs, they massively overcomplicate this, okay? And there's a ton of different strategies and tactics out there for these, for lead generation, right? But they all fall into these two buckets here. So let's just jump right into it. Now, bucket number one is prospecting, okay? Prospecting. What is prospecting? Well, I also call it hunting. And it's basically, you are going out to the market. You're going out to the market, you're, you're identifying who your market is, you're going out and contacting them via cold calling, cold emailing, messages on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, any of these platforms. You are going out to your market and you are contacting them, right? So you're going out and you're trying to drum up interest for your service, your product, your business, okay? Now, let's talk about the pros and cons and when you would use prospecting, okay? The pros of this is it's predictable, right? So you can say every day, I'm gonna reach out to 50 people and you can go, on, go out and do it, right? It's measurable. So you can say, okay, I reached out to 50 people every day and I got this many responses, I got this many phone calls, I got these many clients, right? It's also free to start. It doesn't cost anything to make a phone call. It doesn't cost anything to make it, uh, to send out a cold email. It doesn't cost anything to send messages on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram, right? Now, let's talk about some of the reasons why people wouldn't want to do it. What are some of the cons? Why do people not like prospecting? Well, most business owner and even a lot of salespeople, they hate prospecting. Why do they hate prospecting? Well, it just feels, it doesn't fit with their personality, right? It just feels slimy, it feels salesy. They don't like sending unsolicited messages or, or sending, making calls on, on, on every single day. They don't like sending emails. They don't like sending messages to people. And it's understandable, right? People just don't like to prospect. So they don't wanna do it because it just feels, it doesn't feel right to them, right? But let me talk about why you would use it and when you would use it. Well, why would you use it? If you are starting a business from scratch, let's just say you're launching a new business, you had an idea, you wanna launch a new service or a new product and you're, you're just in the idea phase and you're testing things out. You would want to use prospecting if you don't wanna burn a ton of money on like things like paid advertising, right? So let's just say you have, you have zero dollars and you have a product or service that you wanna to bring to the market and you wanna see if people are gonna buy it. The best way to do that is through outbound prospecting. You can send, you can make some cold calls, you can send out cold emails, you can send out messages on social media, and you can get clients for completely free using these, these methods here, right? Prospecting methods, right? Now for me, for my agency growth response, we got to nearly $20,000 a month using just prospecting, right? We just sent cold emails, we sent messages on social media, we didn't even do cold calling. We just sent messages on email and social media platforms. We got to around $18,000 a month in monthly recurring revenue just using pro free prospecting methods, right? So it's an amazing place to start if you are just starting a brand new business or an offer from scratch. It's the best way to do it without spending a ton of money and wasting a ton of money, right? It's just gonna take a bit of your time. Okay, so that's number one. That's bucket number one is prospecting. Number two is marketing. And I'm sure you, you know what marketing is, right? It's, but I'm gonna define it for you. I'm gonna break it down this way. Marketing is, a, is putting things out into the market, right? An ad, a piece of content, a video, a blog article, a white paper, something like that. You're putting things and feelers out into the market and you're getting the, your market to come to you, right? So you're, it's kind of like going fishing, right? You're throwing out your hook there with bait. You're gonna, you're gonna see who bites and then you're gonna reel it in, right? So marketing is kind of like going fishing, right? You're putting things out into the market and you're waiting for them. You're trying to attract them to come to you and magnetize them to come to you, right? So marketing, what are the pros? Well, it's obvious, right? You're getting your market to come to you. It's a lot more comfortable. It's a lot more ideal. You can kick back and wake up. And when you wake up, your, your calendar is full of appointments and people who are willing to talk to you. Marketing is amazing because you don't have to put in the effort of going out to your market and feeling um, spammy and salesy and trying to send messages to people to, to draw off interest and, and business for, or clients for your business, right? So it's waiting for people to come to you or attracting them to come to you. Now, what are the cons? Well, it, it could take a ton of money, right? A lot of people I see jump straight into marketing without validating their business or their offer. They go straight into spending thousands of dollars on Facebook advertising 
or Google ads or YouTube ads or, or Pinterest ads or radio advertising. They go out and spend thousands of dollars and then they wonder why, oh, this didn't work. I don't know why this didn't work. It's because they haven't validated their messaging, their niche, their offer, their price point, their service, right? They haven't validated anything. So it, the cons of it is you can lose a lot of money and a lot of time by spending a ton of money on marketing or creating content for something that's not gonna work, right? So if you try to do marketing behind something that's not validated, you can end up spending or wasting a lot of time and a lot of money. So when would you use marketing, right? In my opinion, marketing is best used when you validated your business or your offer, right? So let's just put this scenario into place, right? Let's say I'm starting a new business from scratch, a new service-based business, and I'm selling, let's just say marketing services, digital marketing services, right? I'm not gonna go straight into using paid advertising. I'm gonna use prospecting to try and, try and get my first three to five clients that way, right? So I'm gonna go out to the market. I'm gonna send some, make some cold calls. I'm gonna send some cold emails. I'm gonna make some messages on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and send those messages out to people who fit my niche, right? I'm gonna send messages to try and drum up interest. So I'm gonna get my first few clients that way. I'm gonna get results for those clients. I'm gonna turn those clients into case studies and testimonials and social proof, and then, once I've done that, I've validated the business. I've got messaging that works. I've got an offer that works. Now what I can do is create marketing. I can create paid advertising campaigns and content and case study videos and all that stuff around the validated offer and the validated business, right? So now I have case studies. I can use that in a Facebook advertising campaign. I can use that in a YouTube advertising campaign. I can create content about how X client got X result using X method, right? So your marketing becomes this high powered machine when you've already validated everything. It's an accelerator to what already works, okay? So again, I want you to think about that. Bucket number one is prospecting. Use it to get to, from zero to like ten, twenty thousand $20,000 a month in your business. Once you've got there, you've got some case studies, some testimonials, some social proof. Now you can just add fuel to the fire and just start using marketing, content, paid advertising to just shoot that to the moon, right? So you always wanna start with prospecting. In my opinion, that's the best way to get started with zero dollars and zero, like pretty much zero risk. You're gonna go out to the market, get your first few clients, start making money, validate your business, and then move to actual marketing and accelerate that, right? So that's that's just my two cents. It's just my opinion. I know some people might disagree with me on that because they a lot of people hate prospecting, but I think that's the easiest way to grow a business is to validate the offer using free prospecting methods and then only accelerate what's working so you're not wasting and burning tons and tons of money, which I've done in the past, right? So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'll put some videos over here or over here on, I have a video on building an online business from scratch. I'll link to that over here. And then also how to start generating leads using things like LinkedIn and cold email. I'll also link to those here or here. I'm not really sure where it's gonna show up, okay? So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, leave a comment below and leave a like. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and what you wanna see next. But I hope you guys like this. I hope you got value out of this and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.